straight home? Of course. Well, it isn't, of course, of course, on a day like this. Why? What's so special about today? Can't you smell the lilacs all over town? Can't you feel the sap in the trees running around like crazy? Can't you hear the buds pop? Spring is here, my girl. Don't let anybody fool you. All right, I'm not getting the message across. How's Mother? Fine, thanks. That's good. Look, if you're going home anyway, would you drop this by my house? I've got a little shop if you do. Key's in the usual place. Sure. Good luck. Thanks. And thanks for the favor. You'll always have a plate at our dinner table. <laughs> Hello, darling. Mm. I'm sorry to be late. I had to stop at Marge's for a minute. It's all right now, dear, now that you're here. Feeling all right? Yes, dear. Just a little pressure. It's stuffy in here. Mother, you haven't opened the windows again. Well, it's chilly. Because it's damp in here. Look, Mother, it's beautiful outside. Warm and beautiful. Take a deep breath. It's spring, Mother. Hello? Oh, hello, Marge. Look, Carol, could you possibly help me out? You know, I told you I had a date with John, and now he's showing up with this friend of his. Out-of-town guest, you know. And I thought maybe you could... Why, I couldn't possibly. What is it, dear? It's Marge. Well, Marge, you, you know I never... You gotta start it sometime, girl. He's really lots of fun. You'd like him. So what do you say, huh? Well, I... Well, I don't know. What does she want, dear? Oh, wait a minute. She wants me to go out with them. Well, wouldn't you like to? Well, I, If you wouldn't mind, yes, I, I would. Of course I wouldn't mind. All right. Uh, Marge, I'll go. Oh, well... About a half hour? Oh, fine. We'll pick you up then. Good. Bye. I have a feeling I shouldn't have accepted. I, my hair's a mess and I, I haven't anything to wear. Do you, do you think the purple dress will do? Hmm? Mother? Mother? Oh, Mother! Mother, Mother please. The, the please. green pills. Oh, Just a minute. Here. I'll call Dr. Bradford. Stop worrying, Carol. It's just the old asthma. You ought to recognize it by now. sedative. She'll sleep. Now stick around for a while. Just get that filled. A little walk will do you good. All right. Well, oh, good, Cal. Uh, this will take uh, half an hour. Want to wait for her to come back? Oh, well, uh, I'll, I'll go for a walk. It's a nice night for it. You're ready in half an hour. Thanks. I think we'd better go, darling. All right.
Excuse me. What do you want? If I heard you crying. Anything I can do? Why should you? I don't mean anything to you. That's all in nonsense. People always mean something to each other. Look, I was about to leave when I saw you. You hear that? That truck could have hit me if I'd left. You see how it works? You cried, I stayed. You saved my life. Now what can I do for you? Nothing, thanks. It's too personal and I don't know you. All right, then. I'll become a person. Here's my face. The name is Greer. David Greer. Carol Stewart. How do you do? How do you do? Well, aren't you going to exclaim, not be David Greer? Why, of course. The writer? Oh, I... Well, I I've read most of your articles, and I, I just bought your last book. Well, thank you kindly. Well... Who are you? Nobody. School teacher. Just the most important job in the world. What's your subject? English. Yeah, same as mine. You see, we have something in common. Mm. Cigarette? I don't smoke, thanks. Can I take you someplace for a drink? I don't drink, thanks. Would you like me to kiss you? No, no. If you say, I don't kiss, thanks, then I'll know why you were crying. <laughs> Tell me about it. When I was a little girl, it was a riddle. How far can you walk into the forest? And the answer was as far as the middle. Because from then on, you're walking out of it. I'm 35, Mr. Greer. I'm walking out of the forest alone. Why alone? Why? Why? I don't know why. I didn't even know how alone I was until tonight. Maybe it's this beautiful spring. All the springs that pile up on you. Why am I telling you all this? Because I'm listening. But why are you listening? Don't you know? Because I'm alone, too. I need someone, too. What? I have to be going. Please don't. I have to. I, I have to pick up a... Prescription at the druggist. Oh. For my mother. I'm sorry. Nothing serious, I hope. She has asthma. She's had it ever since my father died when I was 16. Oh, I see. You're her sole support. The apple of her eye. The only bright spot in her life. And you go on taking care of her dutifully. You're crying. No, no the don't talk like spring that. gets too much for you. Please. The most destructive man. Look, my car is just outside. Can I take you? Well, uh... Can I see you again? No. Why not? This is all new to me. A chance meeting in the park. I'm not quite sure of the etiquette of this sort of thing. I'm sure the etiquette would say you shouldn't see me. But what do you say? No. What time is school out tomorrow? Five. I'm... No. There's a little cafe in the corner of South and Elm. Shortly after five? Shortly after five. all right? She's asleep. When she wakes up, give her some of that. Instructions on the bottle. Thank you, Doctor. Good night, Carol. And don't worry. You know what? You're looking exceptionally pretty. I told you a little walk would do you good. It did. Well, be seeing you. Good night, Doctor. Good night. Yeah. 
Here graduated at Duke University. He's the author of many books, including New Horizons. During the war, he was a naval officer serving in China and India. And it... Claire is married and has two children. for your five o'clock date. I'm sorry, I couldn't make it. Did you try? May I come in? No. My mother's asleep. Oh, I'll be very, very quiet. Mr. Greer, this is dinner time in most households. Shouldn't you be home with your wife? Oh, I... I see. Miss Stewart... I'm not living at home. I'm separated from my wife, and I didn't mean to deceive you. Oh, I know. I'm a fool. Just because you were nice to me, it didn't mean you had to be single. No. Only very, very lonely. But you don't have to be lonely. You have a marriage. Miss Stewart, you're romantic. Life is not an arrangement in black and white. Unmarried people are unhappy. Married people shriek with joy day and night. Life is not like it is in the movies where the story ends with a wedding because nothing could possibly happen to the marriage. But something can. Sometimes does. It happened to mine. What? Stagnation. A wife whose life ceased to be an adventure once she was married. I was still reaching out for new experience, change. She dropped behind, stalled in me. Rut of contentment. I can't stay in one place. Not growing is death. I'm still thirsty for life, and so are you. When I heard your cry last night, I recognized that cry because it was my own. For something to happen, that was what you were crying for, wasn't it? Yes. But I didn't want you to happen to me. Not you. It was me. Why don't you admit it? All right, it was you. But not with a wife. Not with a wife. Oh, please go away. Don't send me away. What happened to us last night doesn't happen very often. If you send me away, I'll never be able to come back. It's wrong. I know it's wrong. I don't care. Tomorrow I will, but now there's only now. Tomorrow I'll wake up, but I'll remember. Let me look at your face so I can remember. the girl that looks back at you? Have I changed? You have, because you're alive. It isn't wrong, is it, David? People have a right to be happy, to be alive. Of course they do, darling. You know, you've the most indestructible conscience I've ever seen. I know. Yet I'm hopelessly in love with you. I'm the most hopelessly in love teacher in the school district. Want to quit? No. I want to go on suffering. School's out tomorrow, isn't it? Mm hmm And I don't like it. Why? Because it'll mean more free time without you. I've got something to tell you. Dad? It's up to you. I talked to Marsha today. That's the first time you mentioned her by name. I told her I'm going to leave her. Leave her? 
I'm going down into Mexico. Guadalajara, Mexico City, Acapulco. I told her I'm not coming back. What did she say? She said no, she won't divorce me. But I'm going anyway. Why did you have to tell me now? Why couldn't you have just disappeared? You want me to get down on my knees and beg? Please don't go away. I want you to come with me. Well, you can't mean it. I do. You're going on vacation anyway. So you're taking a trip. What if Marsha found out? I told her about you. You didn't. I couldn't lie to her, Carol, and I'm sure if we go through with it, she'll give me a divorce. We could be married in Mexico. Married? Well, marriage is what you want, isn't it? It's what I've wanted all my life. Well, then this is our chance. I don't know. I... Oh, I'm so confused. I can't talk about it. Here, let's go. Guilt, guilt, guilt. That's the strongest emotion you have. Don't you love me? I sit with you in parked cars and dark places. I go with you into dim little cafes with all this guilt in my heart. Do you have to ask if I love you? Then get rid of that guilt. This is our chance. If we let it slip away now, we may have lost it forever. Please, Carol, come with me. If I didn't, darling, my heart would leave me and follow you anyway. I'll go. Shouldn't you call for a cab, dear? Oh, I, I just did. He said he'd be here in a few moments. It's going to be lonely without you. No, it won't. And Silly will be here before supper time. You like her, don't you? Yes, dear, but that's different. A whole week without you. That isn't long. But I don't see why you're taking all these suitcases. You pack practically everything you own. Mother, I have something to tell you. That must be the cab. What? Miss Stewart? Yes? I'm Marcia Greer. I'd like to talk to you. Please come in. Your mother? Yes. Mother, would you mind? I don't care if Mrs. Stewart hears it. I do. Please, Mother. Won't you sit down? Don't be nervous, Miss Stewart. Why should I be nervous? And don't be on the defensive either. Why did you come here? Perhaps to hear it from you so I can believe it. Are you going with him? Yes. That's what I came to hear. That's why we go to funerals, to see if the person we loved is really dead. I'm awfully sorry. You're not, but that's beside the point. He, he never told me he was so lovely. Because he doesn't know it anymore. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Of course not. Do you still love him? In my own dull way, Miss Stewart. Look, look at them. They're beautiful children. Two reasons for being stalled in a rut, as David puts it. To him, nothing ever happens in our marriage. They aren't change enough for him. You're the change. Excuse me, that must be my cap. I'll be right out. I won't keep you any longer. I'm sorry I came now because I approve of you. I hate you, but I approve of you. You seem to be a real person. A person David could love. Give him the things he needs. Well, if you know that, why didn't you? I didn't always know it. I forgot that marriage requires a woman to be a, a wife as well as a mother. Now it's too late. Well, your, your picture. Keep it. To remind you not to make the same mistake. Here, darling. Come on, this way. We've only a few minutes. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I, I'm not going with you, Dave. Not going? No, darling. I, I can't go through with it. Well, what happened? What made you change your mind? I saw Marsha. Did you go? No, no. No, she came to see me. Oh, I see. Did she cry and show you the picture of her two children? 
Your two children, Dave. All right. And she didn't cry. All right, our two children. What's more, she, she showed me another picture. A picture of us. And it wasn't very pretty. Dave, I, I suddenly realized what we were doing. The important thing is whether or not you still love me. Oh, I suppose I always will. Then come with me. We could be happy. Oh, darling, I love you. I want to come with you. But I can't. Why? If you were free, really free. But you are not. Then it's... It's all over. Nothing's all over. What was it you said that first night we met? People always mean something to each other. You'll always mean everything to me, Dave. Thank you for giving me your love. My first. I hope it won't be your last. No, I'm... I'm free now. Flight number 453 at gate 5 is ready to take off. All aboard. No, you please. Goodbye.